Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to create dual tone logo animation inside of After Effects. We are going to apply two techniques to animate this logo. One for the front and one for the back. And everything will be inside of After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, I already created a composition with default settings. And I also have the logo for the animation. I separated the logo into two PNGs, one for front and one for back. Let's bring the top part of the logo. In my case, this is the top part of the logo. And in this part, we are going to create a metallic reflection. Let's go to effects and presets and search for find edges. Apply the effect on the logo. Search for another effect called simple choker. Apply it on the layer. Change the choke mode value to 2. Apply brightness and contrast effects also. Change the brightness value to 25. And at last, apply Gaussian blur effect. Change the blurriness value to 0.2. Now select the logo layer and pre compose it. Let's call it logo white. Make sure to check move all attributes. Now we have the reflection map that we are going to use in the logo animation. You can get the project file from the link in the description. Place it on the timeline and change the track mat of this layer to alpha mat. Now on the reflection map, add an effect called CC glass. Open surface and change the bump map to logo layer. Change the softness value to 50, height value to 100 and displacement value to minus 150. Open light option and change the light type to point light and change the light height to 100. On the reflection map, add another effect called CC Blobilize. Change the blob layer to logo layer and change the softness value to 15 and cut a value to 45 and if you want to change the color of the reflection you can apply triton effect on it and you can change the colors from here easily but in my case i don't want any color so let's turn off the effect for now all right our first part of the logo animation is done let's go to project panel and create a new composition let's call it logo back bring the other part of the logo animation into the timeline Make sure to apply fill effect on this layer and change its color to white. Then create a solid layer. Let's name it wipe. And apply linear wipe effect on the solid layer. Change the wipe angle to minus 60. Now, by using transition completion value, we can add simple wipe animation on the logo. First change the track mat of the logo to alpha mat. Then add a keyframe on the transition completion. Go to 4 seconds and change its value to 0. Let's change the starting value to 85%. and ending value to 20% so that the animation can start from the beginning of the timeline. Also change the feather amount to 300. Select the both layer and pre compose it. Let's call it logo reveal. After that apply fill effect on it and change the color to black. Also, apply another effect called Wavel Alpha. Change the edge thickness value to 4. And change the light intensity value to 1. On the first frame, add a keyframe on the light angle. And after 4 seconds, change its value to 1. That's been one complete cycle. Now make two copies of the composition by pressing Ctrl plus D and apply Gaussian blur effect on the both top layers. For the second one, change the blurriness value to 25 and for the top one, change the blurriness value to 300 and change the blur dimension to horizontal and also change the blending mode of these layers to add. Let's change the composition background color to black so that we can see the lines properly. And if you want to add more glow on these lines, 
you can make composition of these layers again let's call it logo outline make two copies of it and apply same gaussian blur effect on the top two layers and put the same values like before also change the blending mode to add our second part of the logo animation is done now it's time to merge all this composition properly for that let's create a new composition and let's call it final render now bring logo front composition and logo back composition also bring logo reveal composition on the timeline you can add fill effect on the logo reveal composition to change the color of the logo choose a color of your choice and place it on the top of the logo back composition then offset all the composition by 2 seconds let's add simple opacity keyframes so that it blends with the other composition You can hide the outline rays just by using opacity keyframes on the logo back composition. And your logo animation is done. Just add some cinematic backgrounds and you are good to go. So that's all for today. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe.